But what has shown to be really effective is learning something outside of your field of expertise. So whatever it is that, that, is, that you're an expert in or, or what, what your work is, think of something that's not related to it. It could be singing. It could be learning a new musical instrument. It could be a foreign language. It could be a little bit of brain science, a new subject. What's happening there is you're causing your brain to make new connections. And the connections are where our memories are housed. That's where they live. And as we get older, we lose some connections and it's kind of like our bank account. We want to keep making new connections so we don't lose or we don't notice as much the connections that we're losing or that we're inevitably losing as we get a little bit older. Now, it turns out that when it comes to learning new things, we want to think about a variety. It's kind of like if you went to the gym and you just did the same exercise every time. If you only did arm workouts, eventually you'd, you'd probably look like Popeye and that's probably not the best look. You want to have a full body workout. Well, you also want to have a full brain workout. So if you think about during the week, think about, oh, wait a second, did I do something kind of musical this week? Did I do something physical in terms of maybe a new sport, a new type of exercise? Did I do something where I learned a new subject? Mix it up. It doesn't have to be an overwhelming amount, but just a variety of different types of learning. Think of your brain like a full brain workout. You want to stimulate different parts of your brain which are involved in these different types of learning activities. And we want to do a full brain workout because again, your brain is use it or lose it.